Hello, welcome to this lesson of Mastering Statistics. Here we're going to talk about the area under the normal distribution. Now I've kind of talked about this a little bit in passing when I introduced the normal distribution and talked about some of the properties. I'm doing this kind of repetitively to kind of get it into your, uh, into your head without having to memorize anything. Um, but I'm also doing it because it's super, super important stuff. So we've hinted before that the area under the distribution, the area, the shaded area under the probability distribution is going to become important for practical problems. So let me draw a distribution on the board and show you graphically what I'm really talking about because what's going to end up happening is that as you work problems, a lot of times you'll sketch your own picture of the distribution and you'll shade the distribution to kind of help you visualize what you're doing and then you'll calculate the answer using the techniques that I'll show you a little bit later. So for now, let's concentrate on this idea about the area under the distribution. So here if I have a regular old probability distribution, again let's talk about uh, it could be the length of watermelons, you know, randomly drawn from a bucket, it could be the diameter of pumpkins, it could be anything like that. Uh, so let's say here we have a normal distribution with a mean of 50. Again, this could be the um, number of centimeters, diameter, you know, uh, pumpkins are, you know, when you average them all out, this could be the mean value, so on. So let me draw this central line as straight as I can vertically, and then I'll grab another color uh, to show you something else. Now I'm going to put a mark here and a mark here, and I'll show you what those marks are for in just a second. So I'll do my best to draw a symmetric distribution. I'm definitely not going to be great at it, but I can kind of do a semi-decent job like that. And on the other side, again, you have to use your imagination a little bit. I'm trying to draw a symmetric distribution. That's actually not a bad job. So here's our probability distribution. The mean value, or the, the mean of the of the uh, data that we have for the diameter of pumpkins, the length of watermelons, or whatever it is we're studying, is 50, right? So most of the time, if you pick something, the average value is going to be, the peak of this curve is 50, so on average, you're probably going to more than likely pick something at least near 50. So the mean is 50. The spread of this guy, we keep saying the standard deviation describes the width of the curve, and that's what I want to outline here. We haven't really specifically said anything here, but this value here, I said this guy right here is the mean, that's mu. This value here is the mean plus one standard deviation, and this value here is the mean minus one standard deviation. Make sure you understand that. When we say standard deviation of data, or standard deviation in terms of a probability distribution, we're talking about how much spread does the data have about the mean. If you have a very large